today's video i'm going to show you how to make the best diy deep conditioner for natural hair growth i'm telling you guys this is the most potent deep conditioner packed with moisture like never before i want you to watch till the end to see how to make your own diy deep conditioner keep on watching lovelies welcome back again to my youtube channel today is my birthday guys today is my birthday i'm going to be showing you how to make a diy deep conditioner for natural hair growth how to make it at home you guys homemade deep conditioner for natural hair growth so this is my shea butter this is what you need to make your own diy deep conditioner you need a regular conditioner of choice you also need jamaican black castor oil for this recipe but if you have just you know um refined castor oil that's still fine you can also use that glycerin guys if you don't have glycerin use honey but i'm going to be using glycerin i also have my ayurvedic oil which i absolutely love i use this almost on a daily basis okay to lock in the moisture on my hair and also on my scalp now you're going to be melting this down okay so let's get into making this diy deep conditioner for natural hair growth all right so first up we are going to be putting the conditioner so i chose monday conditioner you can use any conditioner of choice but I just love the consistency of monday it is very very soft and silky that is what i absolutely love and it also has wheat protein this conditioner has wheat protein so it is also going to be strengthening my hair at the same time so i'm going to be using my ayurvedic oil in this deep conditioner because i need all the nutrients in my hair i'm going to be using one tablespoon of my favorite um ayurvedic oil okay i actually use this oil every single day on my hair now this is the melted shea butter shea butter is so good in deep conditioners you guys very 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 good i'm telling you once you start doing this you will stop buying deep conditioners from the shop i'm telling you you will stop so glycerin it's so good because it is a humectant it actually draws in moisture from the environment so you also need to be using this one tablespoon of the glycerin but if you don't have glycerin you can use honey now i love jamaican black castor oil because child that thickness ah, huh? that moisture it gives to deep conditioners i'm telling you it is the best okay but if you don't have the black jamaican castor oil you can just use the refined castor oil it's still castor oil by the way so it still will work now i want you to know how well this mixed up so well you guys hey what did i just say so well how it mixed up so well hey <laughs> What am i talking jared <laughs> if you are still watching a comment down below and say i am still watching my eyes are open i'm not even going anywhere i want to learn how to make my diy deep conditioner for natural hair you get it now look at how well the oil really penetrated into the conditioner that's why i absolutely love the monday conditioner this is literally your diy homemade deep conditioner for natural hair i'm telling you you won't be able to you won't even get into shops and buy deep conditioners you won't even do it you just make your own at home guys at home hmm? how to make a deep conditioner at home i'm telling you look at the consistency look at how hi how soft it is like your gut charred like your gut arc <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you make your diy deep conditioner for natural hair growth now i'm going to be showing you how to actually apply so you want to apply deep conditioners on clean hair you guys i repeat this you have to use a deep conditioner on clean washed hair never use a deep conditioner on dirty hair it's not gonna work it doesn't work it charred so i'm about to apply the deep conditioner i have just did my hot oil treatment now i'm going to be applying my diy deep conditioner very very important now low porosity needs indirect heat guys so this is what we are working with the deep conditioner is very good like well made 
as you can see like I like the consistency I'm going to start up with my ends and with this deep conditioner I'm going to be sitting under a hooded dryer for about for about um, for about four to five minutes that is what you want to do 45 minutes wow I love the sleep now when you are deep conditioning also make sure that you are also putting it on the edges don't forget your edges you guys your edges also needs all this goodness so that's how you make a DIY deep conditioner and it smells amazing okay wow I love the sleep wow oh you guys this this is so amazing i'm so in love with it so more to the ends nowadays i focus more on the ends of my hair because i don't want dryness okay this part i think it's literally like finished Yes, going to wow I love the sleep OMG this is one of the best deep conditioners <laughs> hmm. wow this deep conditioner is giving you guys literally like honestly even when you have mini braids in that doesn't mean you have to be a bit harsh with your hair you literally have to be very gentle wow i absolutely love the sleep yeah now when it comes to my edges i'm also going to apply this on my edges So the remaining deep conditioner, I will store it. I will use it later, maybe next week. So I'm just going to twist that part up. You guys, believe it or not, my hair is getting thicker. Like literally. So more deep conditioner to the ends. Put it at the center apply more deep conditioner to my ends so yeah that's how you can make a very moisturizing now i love the monday conditioner because it's very it has a lot of sleep so you can get this in the supermarket really what literally grew my hair uh, years back when my hair was super thick I used to do exactly this so I can tell you right now that this works okay I'm going to show you that after my hair is extremely soft that is what you want with natural hair wow it smells so good and clean just going to show you my ends oh they are so moisturized like oh look at that oh, look at that 